Good evening. Thanks for joining us on this special edition of 23 ABC News. I'm Leah Pazetti. Women, men, young and old gathering this morning in downtown Bakersfield for the Women's March. 23 ABC's Noelle Lilly joins us now with a look at why participants feel this march is so important. Good evening, Leah. The first Women's March was a worldwide demonstration in 2017, the day after President Trump's inauguration. It's only the second year that the march has made its way to Kern County, but more than 3,000 attendees flooded downtown Bakersfield. There's strength in numbers and there's power in men and women coming together. Thousands filling the streets of Bakersfield marching for women. Participants of the Women's March making signs and singing chants for reproductive rights, health care reform, racial equality, and more. Support black women, love black women, we are so colorful. And One local activist says that she hopes demonstrations like the Women's March will create a better future for the next generation. I'm overwhelmed. I am happy because I, I just turned 55. I don't know how long I have, but I have granddaughters. And then I'm here today underneath the sun and the weather for them. See, we need to do it for the people that are coming behind us. She says that this march is a positive reflection on Kern County. I'm happy that they are actually listening to the women. I'm happy that they actually want to change for our county. I am happy that our county is stepping up and being noticeable. But she also put out a call to action to fellow Kern County residents that aren't involved. A lot of people here in the county are still not engaging. They should. You know, people walking around with, with the uh, bandage in their eyes like horses in the race. You know, take them off once in a while. Look around you. Don't ask what you can get. Ask what you can do to help. Despite the name, it's not just for women. Many men attended the march as well, stating their solidarity with women and women's rights. I'm here to support them and defend those rights, I guess, because I think everyone deserves equality. Participants say they hope this event will lead to change. It's going to make a difference. Our voices are going to be heard and there's going to be some changes. This was one of a dozen marches in the state of California. Congressman T.J. Cox, City Councilman Andre Gonzalez, and Assemblyman Rudy Salas were all in attendance. Live in studio, Noelle Lilly, 23ABC.